Welcome to part three. <laughs> uh, this is the last part of my crazy, stupidly crazy amount of uh, Falcon stuff for my Falcon collection 100th episode extravaganza. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to get right into it and I'm going to start kind of small and kind of weird, I guess. Uh, I just wanted to point out I didn't when I was doing the the show and the soundtracks and stuff. I didn't really show these, but I pretty much have all the the sleeve stuff for the the soundtracks. They're kind of hiding in my little uh, shelving units, and I don't feel like dragging them all out. However, I did have some of them out, so I figured I'd sh show you that. Yeah, they're all they're all there. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So first things first. Um, I do have the last year's calendar, but this is a calendar from, as I totally just did that, <laughs> uh, this is a calendar from the, uh, the, for this year and stuff, do, 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 so, yeah. Uh, also got an E7, uh, wristband. I guess I should say this is all like the random merchandise and books and stuff. So, <laughs> so uh, if you haven't caught part two and part three, make part two and part three. Part one and part two, the, the games and the uh, soundtrack section. So, yeah. Uh, this is a kind of the, a towel of E7. So, cool, cool, cool. Uh, this came with the 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 the, the special edition that I got from Nostalgia King, and that's this little, little, oh, what's the word I want to use, thing, <laughs> a pin, I guess, it's a pin of the Bracers logo from, from the series of Legend of Heroes, and these are little candies that I sure as hell was not about to try, <laughs> but uh, uh, this is for the, the, the character Mishi, which is made kind of popular and stuff in the Zero and Ano Kiseki games. So, yeah. And I showed these before and I was putting them together. That's the like little chibi kind of or the SD versions of Ellie and oh my God, they're going to take me forever to put it back and uh, to you. <laughs> so, and uh, I only got one and I don't even remember how I got it to be honest. But uh, I got the from the Ver versus Victory Spark. These are like playing cards. So I have some of the characters. I got Estelle at all, and just yeah, good old Dogi. Uh, I get Shahrazad, Loser Elk, and whatnot. And yeah, these are this is kind of uh, from promoting the East versus Sword no Kiseki game. So yeah, gah, just that. Ugh. And who is this is Dora. I think she's from Brandish, and I've honestly like the new newer Brandish, and I've not really played it. So, uh, but they're really cool. I like them. I, I not like them. You you gonna use them or anything? So, uh, next up is something that whenever I seem to order things, they randomly put these in here. Uh, I got this East Eternal. Is it Eter Eternal? Yeah, East One and Two Eternal card. It's kind of. There we go. Of Dark Fact and at all and whatnot on the back. <laughs> Sorry. Got good old good old loser boy. Yeah, I said it. Loser boy. Right there. And they also have bookmarks. So uh, they have bookmarks of random things and just just they'll uh, like here they're promoting uh, East Celsetta with this bookmark. So and whenever, and whenever I order things they tend to throw in a bookmark, which is pretty nice, or like that card. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I forgot something. I'll oh, check out my awesome Homer Simpson pajamas. So much stuff. Ah. <laughs> something else that I also got uh, that they included from time to time beforehand were, uh, f especially for uh, East versus Soda no Kiseki and stuff, were the, kind of these postcards. And whatnot, so. Which I, I. 
I like it. It's not like I'm ever going to use them or anything, but I like it just because it has the 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 uh, kind of artwork and stuff, and it's just I don't know. It's, it's nice to look at and stuff. Well, there's more. <laughs> so. so. No, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's getting dark in here, but yeah, they're all color and they're nice and they're they're postcards, but it's not like you're gonna be like, hey, totally writing to you from the world of ETH. But you never know. <laughs> uh, something. That I also like to do is pick up the pamphlets for games if I can, or uh, Falcon likes to put in pamphlets for their games. In ah, here's another card. <laughs> in uh, when, whenever you order things and get from them, uh, so here's a pamphlet for East vs. Sword no Kiseki Alternative Saga. And it says take free. Don't mind if I do. So and. Here's one for uh, Zeno no Kiseki. And here are two for uh, Aono Kiseki. One that's uh, that I actually got from ordering stuff, and this other one I actually got from. Uh, I don't remember where I got it from. To be honest, I picked it up from somewhere. I think I picked it up when I was in Tokyo. And then here is the for Nayuta no Kiseki, which comes out July 26th this year. So, looking forward to that. Ooh, yeah. As well as, uh, I sent out these to a few people, too, uh, a while ago. And these are just uh, fans promoting Zeta no Kiseki, as well as East vs. East versus Soda no Kiseki, which they both came out around the same time, about a year or so apart. Yeah, a year, a month or so apart, I believe. So I can't remember. I think I want to say that East versus Soda no Kiseki came out in August, and Soda no Kiseki came out in September of 2010 for both of them. So. Uh, and I've shown this before a long, long time ago. This is to the that sealed copy of East Eternal on the PS2 that I have. And this is... Well, Eternal Story, excuse me. And this is little set that comes with it. So it's pretty awesome. Kind of dusty, but... <laughs> so... And also, I got a plushie of Mishi. So... Alright, so that kind of leads me into kind of the rest of the stuff just about. There's one other thing that I kind of have, but I'll save it till last. It's not like super exciting or anything, but... Um, so, we have the, the complete guide for uh, Aona Kiseki. Uh, complete guide for E7. Complete guide for uh, Zero no Kiseki. And th those three were all like the PlayStation uh, publication. And then we have the guide for East 5, uh, Kefin Lost City of Sand. So, and what's great about these is that they have them in color and everything. So, I really, really lax it when they have it all in color. Makes me, makes me happy. Makes me very happy, because color is cool. So. And... I'll get to that other stuff. <laughs> uh, the, these are two mangas of Z uh, Zero no Kiseki. So, uh, they, the, the first two, which are the only two that have come up so far, uh, they cover up just a good deal of time into it. I want to say about maybe ten hours or something. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. But uh, I like them. So, and this is the novel that I showed previously of Zeno no Kiseki, so, so I haven't really had the chance to go get into it. Uh, and then we have here two manga of Is, 
Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. So, I honestly have not been able to read these yet, unfortunately. So, I'm curious to see how they turn out. As well as three manga of Soda no Kiseki, or Trails in the Sky. So, and then I've got it. another one for Trails in the Sky, which, uh, this is the, I don't know, it, honestly, I don't know what the difference is other than animation style, and it's done by Emotion Comics, so. <laughs> another one by Emotion Comics, if I remember, or maybe not. Oh, uh, this is uh, uh, Dengenki Comics. So, this is a play story kind of thing. As well as the complete guide for... Did I, do I seriously have two? <laughs> Shows how much I pay attention. I guess I have two copies of, <laughs> of Zeno no Kisaki. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Embarrassing! Because it is. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, I also have the Soda no Kiseki, or Trails in the Sky FC, SC, and the third. Kind of look here. SC is this massive, massive. Look at that. Of oh, uh, the, the scenario book. So it's all of the dialogue in the game. So I, I really like scenario books. I have a few of them. I got a couple for uh, the uh, two of the games in the Xenosaga series, as well as. A few others here and there. So, yeah, I got those, as well as the Falcom Chronicle, which is uh, celebrating Falcom's 30th anniversary from last year, and it's 640 glorious pages of glory. And I'm running out of space to put things. Uh, and then we have the perfect data of East one through six. So I know Splatter Trigger has this, and also. Swagman, because I think I, I think I got Swagman this. So and yeah, it's got good old color for half of it and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to remember, the uh, Chronicle has color images and stuff, but then it also actually it has color for everything. But it, and it goes into all like the Falcom games and stuff. It's it's pretty insane. Uh, it's it's pretty cool because it gives a good deal. Of the history information and whatnot. And we have the special collection book for E7, so it's got uh, pictures and all that sort of stuff. Another one of these cards, which. Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and then uh, East Oath of Ghana. And it's all in color and whatnot. As well as East 1 and 2 Chronicles. So it's uh, not in color, it's. Got some color, but some of it's not. So, as well as East vs. Soda no Kiseki, Alternative Saga, and it's all in color. Gives the stats and stuff for the characters, as well as all the extra stuff that you can get. Uh, these are all little different skins and stuff, so more cards that I've kept, <laughs> kept in the back. <laughs> And then you have the, for the Gagov trilogy for The Legend of Heroes, so White Witch, Tear of a Million, and A Cage Song of the Ocean is, uh, this is the complete art book. So it has all different artwork and stuff of the Bandai ones and random comic there at the end. And then we have, uh, Trails in the Sky, the third, so the third part in the 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 Trails of trilogy, and ah, another bookmark that I forgot to grab. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so and it's just going through all the game and whatnot, as well as this, which is a re-edit, and it's a special collection book number two. So it has all these different uh, kind of ah, da, 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 I can't try and. Da, 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 da. So it's got different bunch of different pictures and stuff, and if I remember correctly, yeah, like the, even the insides of them have really cool stuff too. But uh, trying not to spoil, you know, I'm apologizing if it's if you're able to catch it. Uh, I've got here the world guide, 
world guidance of the trails of, and it goes into all the cool stuff about the the world and whatnot. So, a bunch of detailed information and all that goodies goodness. And then the special collection book for FC and SC. So and it goes into like all the characters, bio, random things, food that they like. If I remember correctly, it's got like goofy things like that. Maybe it it gives like random information and stuff about them and all that goodness. And then perfect guide for SC. This way the complete guide. Zero no Kiseki, the special collection book. So, all about Zero no Kiseki and all that goodness. And then these last three here just came out recently. And you have the Crossbell Archive, which is all about Crossbell, which is the, the kind of like the principal, principality or the uh, city state uh, that is in Zero and Ano Kiseki. So, a lot of stuff from that. And yeah. As well as two really big, humongous books. Uh, illustration books. One is for, well, one is the illustration book, which is uh, kind of like different things that they have, like different images of that people turned in and stuff and whatnot. So, as well as the character book, which gives all a bunch of different uh, just illustrations of the characters from all the, the different games. It's, it's divided. They, you, as you can see here, you have Trails in the Sky as well as. Uh, the like Zero no Kiseki, Ao no Kiseki characters kind of mix and match. So, yeah, really, really good. The last thing that I wanted to show you, I have to grab real quick, unfortunately, and uh, I don't know if I've ever really showed it before because actually, it's not the last thing because there's a couple other things. I don't know if I actually showed it before because, well, I don't think I have. I might have, but I just don't remember. And you've seen the shirts. I showed the shirts in the last episode. So you've got uh, Lloyd's outfit from uh, Zero no Nokiseki, East versus Zero no Kiseki, as well as the East I Goddess East or I Love East. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary, so happy 25th birthday, East, as well as two other random things I got. Uh, this I got when I had uh, pre-ordered Ao no Kiseki. It is the dog tag of Lloyd Bannings, the main character of East. Well, East, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the main character of uh, Zero and, and Ao no Kiseki. He's this guy. So. so I got the dog tags as well as when I went to Tokyo Game Show with uh, Sushi B. We fought tooth and nail to get bags of Anakiseki. And uh, there's a little switch in here. The batteries aren't dead. If I can find the switch. And it makes these little blinky lights come on. So, like, there's, there's one light. And there's another light. So, yeah. That is my Falcon collection. Whoo! Lots of stuff. Way too much stuff. Craziness amounts of stuff. So, oh, I'm not done. I lied. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, last thing here. Diecast of Arisei, which is uh, a ship that's, that pops up in SC, but more in the third from what I remember. Yeah, it's, my memory's starting to get fuzzy on uh, FC and SC a little bit, so it means I have to play them again, right? So, uh, yeah, this definitely is an important thing that comes up in the trilogy, so pew! And it's die cast and it's kind of heavy, and I could totally take somebody's eye out with that. So, <laughs> so yeah, that is my Falcom collection. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching these. If you did watch them, if not, I can kind of understand. <laughs> Kind of long. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.